Hello everybody, that is here. Welcome to a visit two of customer build number, I think five, I'm not sure. We still didn't come up with the name, which make a little bit things harder for me to call it other than a customer build. But anyways, so what's happening here? The customer has parts for very long time, they couldn't f but he couldn't find time to build it. So finally he really fed up and um, basically stormed me with the request to build it. And I refused it maybe like five times and finally we, I said, okay, I'll do it for you. Anyways, so the request is to make build as fast as possible. For that reason, it's hard for me to set up camera and give you like full blown tutorial because I actually need to finish this thing. And uh, when you make videos, things like four times longer. So for that reason, we'll do it again in a vlog format and I will do my best to do overview at the end of each day how much I was able to achieve. So today we will talk about what was done in terms of water cooling allowed and things like this. But because I didn't thought about that idea earlier, I would like to insert a quick insert that I filmed yesterday. So we have a two days vlog today and what happened yesterday, I just want to make sure that hardware works because it's a lot of hassle to put everything in place and if something doesn't work it's not cool so I basically did a kind of ghetto setup and I put it in place like check it out first order of business to check hardware especially because not all parts was new CPU was used grease wasn't even clean on it I have some grease and contact so I try my best to clean everything up uh, hook up all the GPU card as you see here and um, well I just want to see that board posts because I don't want to spend hours and hours of work just to find out that the thing is dead so hopefully we'll get something out of it one stick of RAM and uh, let's see debugger what's going on there I don't see anything on the screen at all so far, but nothing beeps and debugger is going. Oh, actually, here we go. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> but it was a Asus logo just a second ago. And um, yeah. Oh, wow. Perfect. And with that, I finished at noon because it was a very slow day at the store and I was able to spend quite a few hours on the system, which I yield good results as you can see here. So what was done today? First of all, I finished all the mostly motherboard area. So we have this Rampage 5 x99 platform. I already, customer already had CPU. So we put a EK Supremacy x99 version, nickel, plexi in place. And I put this at a Titan card as well. So my customer had a special request, no freaking bands. I, he wants like everything done with the fitting. So I said, okay, I'll try, but maybe it's not always possible. So I did like honest attempt to connect CPU and GPU together with 245 degree fittings and wanted to run tube across. But because ports not aligned per perfectly, I was able with uh, some spacers and stuff like this, actually to put tubes between two fittings, but I couldn't screw cups well enough because the whole thing was a little bit crooked. So I give up and I did the same that I did with my previous build, put two 90s on both ends and uh, connect them in, with 90 degree uh, tube. And it looks pretty decent in my opinion. I would do it for myself like any day. So what's happening here is that unfortunately, I, it goes for years. I don't know why EK never fix it, but the port on GPU always a little bit shifted from the port of um, CPU allocation. And uh, it wouldn't hurt them to just to move connector a little bit further, but they didn't. So what we have here is that ideally this port on GPU should be right there. Then we have like very nice straight connection, but it's not. So what I did, I put 90 degree a part of the tube down kind of in a vertical position so it looks like sym symmetrical to all this uh, memory and stuff like this and I went under the angle towards GPU which is not really visible which is looks pretty fine and customer said like hey he let me pass on that <laughs> so anyways so that was uh, part one then 
uh, we discuss a little bit we had this really dated EK uh, reservoir and pump combo with the PWM pump and uh, the current trend that things not as bulky uh, most of the newest models now quite compact and more elegant this is design that EK milking for many years and it's start looking quite dated it's heavy and uh, maybe some people like it but after three years looking at this not anymore so I suggested maybe to try to see another options and uh, we decided on on a dark side reservoir which I basically traded for EK and um, and that allows us to achieve a few things. First of all, the whole thing is a little bit more compact, more elegant. Second, the mounting is, has a stealth mounting. So I basically drill the holes in the case and bolted it straight to the case. And uh, you see there's no bracket, nothing, which is, uh, makes things kind of floating in the air in a way. At the same time, it's very secure. So yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. So that looks pretty cool. It has also a dressing kit, everything black and stuff like this. So it's basically kind of the same thing. It's just a little bit more visually pleasing in my opinion. I leveled the reservoir such way that connection from GPU would go like absolutely parallel to GPU itself and go straight into a reservoir and pump combo. So we can see that we have a line filled with an intrusive. And this looks good. Second thing is that I also had to make a decision, so to speak. Here's a door, right? So when door is closed, the size of the window is not Excel, I believe. I think it's a standard window, if I'm not mistaken. So this section of the front of the case pretty much covered. So if I would mount reservoir right on the front and take fence, uh, let me see if I, oh yeah, yeah, I don't. So this is a flex base thingy, so fans just goes inside and I put bracket here. Pump will be going kind of in front of the fans like this. But when you close the door, you can't see reservoir. And I think it's not cool because you want, if you do water cooling, you want a little bit to show off, right? So otherwise, why bother? You slap whatever and don't even need a window, right? So that's the reason that I wanted to mount a reservoir on a back panel instead of on a, on the fan cage. And that's when we close the door. It's not like perfectly visible, but it's quite visible because also I didn't want to cover holes for cable management, right? So that's overall design is pretty good. So far, everything looks very light. Uh, I don't like when water cooling like it's just a lot of stuff messed out and it's look like bleh, like 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 guts of some animal or something. So it should be kind of looks looks cool. So so far so good. And um, the last thing that I need to figure out for tomorrow because I can't do it today. It's already late and I spent quite a few hours here, which is enough. Is enough. Is um, we have uh, this uh, G GT uh, Black Eyes, uh, I don't know the model, the slimmer reservoir from, um, what's the company name? Jesus, I'm completely losing my mind here. But anyways, so you know it, uh, Black Eyes model. And uh, so it's two ports on the front. If it would be my choice, I would go cross flow and go from one uh, this side to CPU and other side to a reservoir but unfortunately I have it what I have and we have both fronts in the front and custom actually mounted on the back which is didn't work out in my opinion so I flipped it 180 degrees and we have two ports here what I plan to do so for now but until I try to know if it will be this way or not that way is um, basically I will go probably just straight connection to reservoir from one port and the second port I will be running not a clear but black tube towards CPU level so it's it will not um, interfere visually with the fans and uh, other stuff and here we will just go up with a clear tube and have a 90 degree connector to that black tube so black not visible but this 
section will be visible like that. So that's the thing I would like to sleep on it and decide tomorrow is this the way to go or not, but that's the plan for now. And um, finally, about color scheme, you're probably wondering what's going on. Here's a small tip for you. You already probably saw custom made cables from somebody in the US that has this light blue color with black. So I lift pump wires the same way and uh, it will match the color scheme of the cables and I will try to make custom liquid. I actually never in all freaking years, I never did a custom liquid in terms of the color. I always just use off the shelf the colors that I like. But I will try to do my best and play around with mixing something of that light blue color that will match both fans and cables and see what we can get with that. And uh, I will highlight everything with white LEDs. So, wish me luck as that. First time experience, but we'll figure it out. I already was told that probably what I need to achieve is basically mostly blue and you need to add a little bit green probably to get it a little bit um, turquoise color, so to speak. All right, so guys, so far we, it's a good progress for one day, I think. And hopefully tomorrow I will be able to finish uh, tube routing. And after that, uh, this will be another video for the filling, right? So don't know if you can finish by Friday because um, sometimes things happen. But that's the target so far, right? Thanks a lot and I will see you soon.